Hello, my name is Lyndon Leveland. I race in the National Superstock 600 Championship for a family run team, GR Fabrications Racing. Going into my fifth year in partnership now with Bell Helmet, I just wanted to make a quick vlog along the way as I prep this year's helmet and take it through the paint. I'm also going to be showing you these helmets and when I use them. The first one, this was the very first Bell helmet I had. This was in the 2019 season, Junior Supersport. Uh, it's just a stock design. I quite like this one in my collection. It's how I got all my podiums. I wore this in every race. Moving into the Stock 600 Championship. I mean, this is my favorite stock design, but as you can see, I had quite a fair high side um, in a wet FP1 at Duncan. Uh, unfortunately, it had too many impact points, it's been retested. Too many impact points to be used again. This one's my rain helmet. This is quite a cool one, it's done by Image Custom Designs. This was actually on show at the NEC in 2018. And luckily they let me wear this, that my team colours, I've always liked my red and black. Uh, this one's now used in the rain, it's got the breath guard inside to stop me steaming up. I've also got this little rain seal along the top just cause it's prone to any helmet really. You get slight drips when it's really wet. Now, this is a really cool one. This one was done by a good family friend from motocross, John Butler. So the idea behind this, I'm a massive Nori Harga fan. So I wanted like the flames of his helmet but also with my touch on it, so we have all the shadowed 41s on it. Uh, this is last year's race helmet, and I'm going to continue with it this year. Then this one was last year's race helmet. Spray. This is what I sprayed myself. This one's based on the Battle of Britain. So I've got them all on the back. We've got the hurricanes on the top. Uh, this is pretty much similar to what I'm going to be spraying my new one in but I was going to reuse this as you can see I had a fairly big high side in this one as well so it's no good to use anymore I've got the boring bit out of the way now all the air vents and everything, all the add-ons have all been taken off and sanded down the helmet's also been sanded down and I've mas masked off, made sure that nothing could get inside the helmet, blocked all the air vents off, rubbed it down, and it's now ready for the first step, priming. got a quick light coat on all this area down here is going to be black and underneath the spoiler will be black as well so there's now not really much point doing that just try to get an even spread of paint on it in a minute but we'll put one more coat on and the brown should be all right From the time lapse, I have read on the green. It's really easy to do because nothing's masked, it's all just freehand camo. I wasn't too happy with how I did it, and also the green wasn't dark enough when it dried, it like it just blended in. But yeah, it looks a lot better with this one. So, as you've probably 
we've seen on Facebook, it's now completed. This is the finished product. And it's basically just like a Lancaster. You've got the hold on the black on the sides and then come on the top. So again yeah, I've got the the Battle of Britain emblem on the back from the the tour what we do now. And then we've got the Mickey and Moosha Lancaster markings and all the bomb logos. That's actually from the Memorial flight from like early 2000s. We've got the Bomber Command logo on the roof. And then same again with my logo and the RAF plane markings. And yeah, happy with how it turned out. A few little bits with the clear coat, that's really hard to put on. It's very easy to get a drip, which I have. Um, and also, the, I was a bit annoyed that the bell sticker came up after. Other than that, you know, I'm not a professional. It's only the second helmet I've done, and I've done it without the professional equipment. So, yeah, quite happy. Look forward to wearing it at round one, Silverstone.